Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me. I'm using this kit from Sadie Stickers called Amelia and I did also pick up some of the extras. I got um, some of the, I think the extra box page and then I also got the deco on transparent matte paper. Um, I picked up a few of her kits with the transparent matte deco and I think I definitely... I think definitely, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I definitely prefer Floral Deco on uh, premium matte, so I will be going back to that, but obviously we'll use what I have for the kits that I have. Um, I also did grab two sheets of the Deco, and I used some of it for another spread, which you may have seen the plan with me for. It was like a Two Little Bees kit that I did back in January, um, since the florals matched, and I needed some more florals for that spread, so... I did end up using some there, but I still had like more than enough for this kit. Um, but I think the reason I prefer uh, the deco on premium matte rather than transparent is I think like sometimes, like understandably, like outside of the shop owner's control, but since it is different paper, like the colors look a little bit different. And then also just with the way that I layer florals, um, I think it looks better when uh, you can't really like see through them. So. Um, I'm going to be ordering premium matte floral deco. Also, if I sound congested or sick, it is because I am. <laughs> Fun stuff. Uh, it's not COVID or anything. I've taken a few tests and it's not. Um, I think I have strep, which is really fun because um, I have finals. <laughs> so it's been such a hoot studying while sick. You can't even imagine. Um, but I've had this plan with me edited for a few weeks now and I kept putting off recording this voiceover. Well, for one, I kind of forgot. I forgot that I had this filmed and edited <laughs> and then I wanted to go film another video and I was like, wait, I have like one and a half spreads that are already finished. So might as well post those before I film more. Sometimes I just get into like filming moods. Sometimes I'm not in the mood to film and I'm only in the mood to edit and like, you know, voiceover and upload. So, but I'm never in the mood to do all of the above. That's, that's a rarity. And if that happens, then my oh my, it's a good week. It's a good week for me. <laughs> um, okay, let's get into the spread. So I put down my bottom washi and then I built up my sidebar. I used um, a quote box at the top uh, that says, let your light shine. Uh, pretty much everything I used was from the kit. The things that I pulled in were those glasses stickers. This was my reading week. This is the week of February 21st to 27th. So uh, yeah, quite a while ago, I will admit, uh, but I will catch up eventually. Um, and pretty much like, you know, going forward, all my sp spreads are like springy. So it's not a huge deal. We are still in spring. This kit is like a transitional kit. I didn't feel like doing anything um, too springy yet, but also was like not feeling anything wintry. So this felt kind of like a good anytime kit. Um, and that's kind of what I did there. It also had like a pink undertone to it and like some mauvey pinks in it too. And so yeah, that made sense for February for me. Anyways, yeah, so I had no classes this week. That's what I marked with that Crafts by Towie like glasses sticker. I also pulled in some uh, like dangles from Sadie stickers and then the straight line dividers are also from Sadie stickers. And then the deco obviously was like the add-on from the kit. Uh, for my date covers, I used uh, some florals that were on the matte paper or like the transparent matte paper, um, some more foil from Sadie stickers like the dangles. And then I also pulled in some um, mandalas that I actually cut in half because I felt like when I put the whole thing, it was like a little too much. So I cut them in half and put them on every other day. Those are from Honey Inked. And then I used the floral um, patterned headers at the top of each day. So yeah, Monday I marked that I had a physio appointment. I think this was my first physio appointment. I ended up doing like four of them. Um, and I marked that here uh, with a Crafts by Towie alarm clock sticker and that little box is from the kit. Then once I got home, I worked on some orders. So I used a um, 
cutting machine that is from a white deer stationery. Those are actually not the cutting machines I have. I use the larger ones, but I love these stickers. I don't know that she has them anymore. I think she has like an updated version of the cutting machines. Um, and I have that sheet too, but sometimes I like these cause they're just like white and they blend into a lot of spreads really well. So, um, that's what I use there. That foiled floral piece, I want to say is from JK Creates, but I'm not too confident. I think that was from a freebie sheet. Um, and then the bow that I used on top of the cutting machine is from my shop. I also marked that I got an Amazon package this day. The um, icon is from White Deer Stationery. And then this like leafy piece here is from Honey Inked. I pulled some of those throughout the spread as well. Um, and then I also used some more dangles from Sadie stickers in the corner and then the candle sticker is from my shop I was working on some candle labels, which I have up in my shop I have some um, that are like customizable So if you have a candle you can like remove the label that's on it and then um, You know like for example if your friends get engaged or something you can like put their names on it and the date um, If you're interested in those they're available on my Etsy shop not my Shopify um, because I feel like if you're <laughs> like if you're coming to my shop, you're expecting like planner stickers, but on Etsy, like anyone can kind of find it. So that's why I put it up on the Etsy shop. But same name, planning like a pro. You can have a look. I have some other like customizable stickers, like congrats on the first home, so on and so forth. Um, but I was working on designing those this day. That candle, the candle sticker, I should say. I think I may have already mentioned, but that's from my shop. Um, on Tuesday, I had to go get some blood work done. So I used this sticker um, from White Deer Stationery. I think it's like meant to be a vaccine, but it's a needle. So we're just going to ignore the little vial that's beside it. Um, whatever, you know, same thing. And then I had to run some other errands as well. And um, I was like going to a friend's place in a few days or like a few days later so I really wanted to go to Winners to like grab something for her because they had just moved into their first place together, uh, my friend and her boyfriend. And I went to the Winners that's beside my house and honestly there was like nothing good there. So the next closest one was actually um, like close to where Regina from Miss and Meow lives. And so I was like, oh my God, want to come walk around the mall with me? I haven't seen you in forever. So that was really fun. <laughs> I was like, I'll see you in 30 minutes. <laughs> um, so I end up marking the mall with these really pretty boxes from like that add-on sheet. Um, you'll see it in a second. I guess I moved to the bottom before, <laughs> before coming back up. But um, yeah, I really love those stickers. I like how it's cut out around the florals. Um, and then the shopping bag stickers that I used are from Crafts by Towie. And then uh, once I went to go drop off like Regina back home, she was so sweet and she gave me my um, like birthday present and it was these like dried floral, dried floral arrangement, dried flower, floral arrangement. I don't know. I don't know what the correct word is, but it was so pretty because she had been like ordering a few for herself and I kept seeing them and I was like, oh my God, like so pretty, love it. Um... And yeah, so she got me some as well, and it's so cute. I love it. I don't remember, I don't think I've posted it, but I should. I put it down in my office because like that's kind of where I have all like my boho stuff. So yeah, that was that was cute. And then we did also go to some other shops. Um, like I ended up buying a pair of heels, which I do not like wearing heels, like booties and like short heels. I don't mind, but these were like some high heels, and I've only worn them once since. Um and yeah, I literally planned a girls night with my friends just so I can wear these heels. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I bought some heels. I also went to, I think it's Oak and Fort. I always forget Frank and Oak and Oak and Fort. The, I always mix those two up, but I don't think it was Frank and Oak. Anyways, so got some stuff there. I think we got some food and some Starbucks and so on and so forth. At least that's normally what we do at the mall. Um, but I kind of just marked all of it under going to the mall with Regina. And then the her getting me flowers, I used a bouquet from uh, White Deer Stationery. Once I got home, I did some filming and I used a camera from Crafts by Towie. And then the script is from Paper Trail Plans. 
And then that evening, I grabbed some drinks with my friends. I think we also did get some food. So I used one of these like scalloped circle stickers from the kit, some florals coming out the sides, and then the cocktail is from White Deer Stationery. Um, I ended up working Wednesday this week and, oh, and Friday. Oh, I think I picked up an extra shift because um, I had the week off. So I was like, why not get some extra coin? Um, (laughs) at the hospital. So I marked work on Wednesday. I used a work script that I just made for myself with a stethoscope icon from White Deer Stationery. Um, And when I was at work, I always grabbed Tim's, but I did mark grabbing Tim's this day. Um, The latte sticker is from my shop. And then that little Um, I love those little labels. I like how small they are and kind of just like to mark smaller tasks like that or smaller things. I also pulled in a bunch of like uh, foiled confetti. Most of it was either Honey Inked, Miss and Meow, or The Giving Girl. (laughs) They all look a little bit similar um, other than like The Giving Girl because hers have like some like sparkles and I think like hearts throughout. Um, But the other ones I don't really remember (laughs) which ones are from where. Um, And then in the evening when I got home from work, I was reading this book called The Good Lie. I really liked it. It had been on my to read list for a while and it had really great reviews. So I don't know why I was like putting off reading it for so long. Um, But for some reason, like I just kept starting it and it like wasn't like drawing me in. Like I would just read the first like three to five pages and I was like, okay, like I'm not even paying attention. Um, but this time I think I started it like on my lunch break and I was like, well, I have no other books on my Kindle, so I kind of have to read this. Um, so I did that and I actually really enjoyed it. So I used mostly stickers from the kit, some foiled, uh, like dangles from Sadie stickers and then the book, um, as well as that yoga mat underneath that I used to mark stretching. Those are both from White Deer Stationery. Uh, Thursday I had another physio appointment and then this was the day that I drove out to visit my friend, the one that I mentioned, um, that had recently moved out. She moved pretty far. If you guys are from Ontario and know, um, like, you know, the cities nearby, she's in Cambridge and I'm in North York. So it was quite the drive, but I was excited to see their place. Their place is really nice and I was shocked at how quickly they furnished it. They were both like moving out from living at home. So they basically had to buy everything. And I was like, what the heck? This is beautiful. Like, how have you gotten all your furniture already? And it's only been like less than two months. I was very impressed. (laughs) Uh, But to mark the drive, I used a car icon from Crafts by Towie. Um, and then some dangles from CD stickers and then the circle scalloped sticker is from the kit. They did also end up getting a kitten, which is so cute. Her name is Luna. Um, she's a Scottish fold, Scottish fold cat. Um, and she is absolutely adorable and so freaking funny. I also brought her some toys and she was just having the time of her life. Um, She was pretty scared of me, which I was a little bit sad about, but she pretty much only likes mom and dad, which that's fine. She's a kitten and I'm a new person that she's never seen, so couldn't be too scared, but I was having the time of my life just watching her play. (laughs) Um, And so yeah, I marked that with this Paper Muse Crafts um, like paw icon. I don't think she has those anymore. They're like an old version of icons that she had, but... um, It was like the only paw icon that I could find in rose gold. And then while I was at my friend's, she did also make some dinner, which was nice. I initially marked it with the um, like meal icon from White Deer Stationery, but I end up switching it out for one from Crafts by Towie. And then I finished reading The Good Lie this day. Whoa, did I really start it on Wednesday then? That's hard to believe. I finished it in like two days, maybe. I don't know that's cool. (laughs) Great. Um, The books that I used on Thursday are White Deer Stationery. I have so many like variations of different stickers. Um, Like I have so many of her like TV stickers, book stickers, cooking or baking stickers. Um, I love having like, you know, options whenever I need that sticker. Um, And then, like I said, I worked again on Friday, so I marked it in that same way with um, 
like a half scalloped sticker, um, a work script and a stethoscope from White Deer Stationery. And then one of my coworkers bought me coffee, which was so sweet. Um, we needed to take like a little break, <laughs> like a two minute break because, um, like one of her patients that I was helping her with was very difficult. Um, so we just went for like a minute. The Tim's is like a minute away from the ER. Um, and she got me coffee, which was very nice. Um, so thanks for that. <laughs> she has no idea about these videos and hope she never does. But <laughs> anyways, I marked it with a box from the kit and uh, this like little like cappuccino sticker from White Deer Stationery. And then I used another like leafy bit that's foiled from Honey Inked. And then I think this is when the tell-all for Love is Blind was coming out because I think I watched some of it during my break at work. <laughs> um, I can't remember if this was part one or part two, but I did watch it and then finished it once I got home. Um, I was trying to pull in some more of these JK Creates florals, but I think I ended up saving that for Saturday. And then um, when I got home, I did some more stretching and used another yoga mat from White Deer Stationery. Oh, I should say that uh, TV icon that I used is from Planning World. I also don't think I mentioned, but these scalloped foiled dividers that I'm using underneath the full boxes are Jackson Pepper. Um, on Saturday, I was watching 90 Day Fiance, which I actually ended up finishing yesterday. It's 90 Day fiance before the 90 days um and the second tell-all episode was yesterday and it was quite juicy so I liked that um that tv icon is from paper muse crafts and the box is from the kit and then I also painted my nails this day that nail polish sticker is so cute it's from miss and meow I think this one specifically was a leftover from a kit because I can see that the foiled um piece on it is like printed on rather than like me adding a bow to it so um I can't remember which kit that was like on but um it they are in her shop and then I went to go get some coffee at like this really cute coffee shop with my cousin it was called I think cover note or something but it was really cute I posted it on my story um, I posted on both my personal Instagram and my planner Instagram, I think, and I had so many people on my personal Instagram ask where it was, um, but yeah, it was, it was a really cute place. Uh, so I marked it with another one of the, like, floral boxes from the add-on sheet. Those florals are JK Creates, and then the coffee cup is White Deer Stationery. So is the pillow that I used underneath it to mark taking a nap. And then so is that like headphone set that I marked um, listening to a podcast. Um, there's this new podcast with these two TikTokers that I was like watching during the pandemic. Um, sometimes I'll still see their stuff, but not as often. But I really like their um, podcast. It's called Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. Very creative. <laughs> But the short form is like B and C M A P. So that's if you see that in my spreads, that's what it is. Oh, there's somebody at my front door because I just heard my doorbell. Well, they're gonna have to wait until I finish this voiceover. Um, anyways, I marked that I spilled coffee everywhere on Sunday, which was so annoying. It's like my least favorite thing to do. <laughs> I mean, duh, who likes to spill coffee? But I just get so annoyed. I was like I just was trying to hold too many things and then it went everywhere. So I marked it with a White Deer Stationery coffee maker and then I placed an Amazon order this day. So the money stack is from Paper Muse Crafts. I also did some cleaning. So I used a cleaning bottle from Crafts by Towie. And then I made some lunch. I made some mushroom ravioli, but it was like one of the Trader Joe's already made one where I just had to like throw it on a pan and add a few things but it was really good actually I liked it um so I marked it with a like pan sticker from white deer stationery um some more of those leaves from honey inked and then I was helping my parents like declutter some stuff in the basement at the end of the day um so I just used this is like so random but it's a crafts by Towie like plant sticker but I was like, how do I mark declutter? I guess I could have used boxes. 
you know, I didn't think about that until now. So this plant sticker is what I went with, um, which is very random, but it works. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys <laughs> like this plan with me. I'm sorry again if I sound awful and this was a pain to listen to, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!